Hi everyone, my name is Ellen and this is a tarot reading for Capricorn for November. And today we're gonna start with the tarot rider white. And I would like to remind everyone to check the ascendant readings as well. Let's see what the universe prepared for you Capricorns in November. Ten of Pentacles, great start. A card of abundance in all ways and forms, in family life, in work, career-wise, health-wise. So financially, you're going to be feeling great, uh, stable. Uh, may help from your ancestors or your family. Uh, but here you need to be a practical person and plan everything ahead. Um, like I said, card of stability, place where you are loved uh, by everyone. If you are in this card, that means you are done everything well, everything how it should be. Uh, you're on the right track. Let's see. And what else? Hiram card, the hangman. Um, the hangman will say to us that we need to take a pause. Something in our life will take a pause. Um, you just need to trust the universe and wait. Is some illusion, is some situation that is stuck. Um, you just need to go with the flow and maybe uh, take use this time to reflect um, um, what direction to take next uh, because here you you wasn't here because you done everything right but now you need to uh, take a little break and think um, what do i do next i think the universe will put you upside down on pause so you uh, make the right decisions for for the future next card is mm, the emperor another high rank <sighs> so this card will say that you you want to be you want to be in control you want to be in charge you want to be a number one and for that matter, for that to happen, you need to be taking matter, matters in your own hands and plan everything um, using your plan and experience. Um, everything have to be, that plan have to be very prompt and very stable. Also, this card will say... Um, don't be afraid of any kind of action. Um, be confident in yourself. Uh, you can achieve anything. It's no time to be emotional. Uh, it's no, uh, you need to be a, a straightforward person. And very prompt. Know what you want. Stand your ground. Right. The next deck we're going to use the Light Sears Tarot. Three cards from here. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups, uh, card of uh, happiness, wishes come true, um, joy, mm, abundance uh, emotionally, financially. Look, you're going to be very happy and proud of your achievements, of your hard work. Mm, here, you will be very happy with yourself and proud of yourself. Uh, like I said, everything you hard work uh, work for, you will get it. Uh, the only... Mm, 
advice would be not uh, isolate yourself from the society, from the rest of the people, from the rest of the world. Share with them uh, your your joy and happiness. Let's see what else. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords uh, will say this is more like a warning card. Mm, be careful. Someone um, might try to trick you. Some might try to um, steal your ideas if you have some um, business plan, business idea or any plans for your future, any plans for your life. Be careful not to share them with absolutely everybody or especially new people in your life that you don't know that well, you don't uh, trust them that well yet. Be careful because it's not everybody is um, is that kind to you. Like I said, they might uh, want to try to to trick you and well put your knife in your back, basically stab you in the back while you're not realizing. So this is more like a warning. Let's see one more card. Wheel of Fortune, another Hiram card, great card, card of uh, achievement, card of uh, happiness, card of uh, your wishes coming through. And this card of balance, look at uh, on this card, woman is balancing the whole wheel, she's free, she's happy, she is... Uh, Found, found her, her zen uh, and it's very great place to be she is holding that wheel still it's in perfect balance she's holding this she's, she's in perfect balance uh, and she's holding that wheel in perfect balance because you don't want to be too high up too down the wheel is constantly spinning and it's difficult it's tricky not it's for every not for everyone to hold this balance but here you found it i, I wish you to to keep keep staying in that um, um you are in the center like i said you found that zen and this um this card of of change of positive changes and card of Possibly traveling, traveling the world, or holidays, or relocating, or immigrating um, different country. But this card will make an impact on your on your life. Let's see what else. Where is the dark mansion tarot? Let's see. Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Uh, <laughs> well, you found the perfect balance uh, here, <laughs> but this card uh, is card of uh, balance as well. But this uh, you need to find the financial balance. Mm -hmm. You will uh, have money. Money be not going to be no issue. But like I said, you will need to. Be in perfect balance, uh, juggling uh, right, so you're not uh, gonna get in struggle any kind of struggle. So, yes, need to find a balance in your finances. Let's see. The Empress, I think you're gonna be fine. Another high rank card, and the Empress, uh, we have we have Emperor as well. We have 
maybe a quite a strong couple here. Um, Empress, it's card of again stability, uh, financial abundance, abundance in everything, um, good health, good family life. Um, the the universe give gives you the guide guides you protects you supports you uh, for some people it's also fertility so maybe you find out that you're pregnant or somebody you know or in your circle you might find out is pregnant uh, but like I said in all other aspects in your life it's um, happiness in everything stability good job um, good family life and you have so far one two three you have a four high rank so far so it's gonna be quite important um important funds for you capricorns one more card from here queen of swords uh queen of swords could be a person in your life uh, Aquarius uh, by the Zodiac uh, could be your friend could be your boss uh, could be person uh, in your life but also could be a person of profession uh, could be a teacher a lawyer solicitor uh, so you might ask your professional advice professional help so, next deck we're going to use Marchetti Tarot. Three cards from here. Uh, five of Coins, Five of Pentacles. Uh, Five of Pentacles uh, was saying that could be money issues. I don't know what happened. So you may be not balanced. Uh, misjudge something. Didn't balance that well. So so it could be problems, uh, financial problems. Mm. Or it could be uh, health issues also. And my um, feeling unwell, so pay attention to that. Uh, because so far, nothing indicates of any of this. Um, in five of coins, in fives, we are usually put where, when we, fo we focus too much on our material uh, things, on our financial. Mm, growth uh, and forgot about what is really important is about our soul mm, uh, universe and mm, good deeds so we focused driven just by material things so usually then universe put us here to remember what is really important our journey, our experience here on this, uh, in this place, this world, uh, uh, we're here to get experience for our soul, mm, so material things are on a second, not on the number one priority. So, we'll see what is this all about, because you having such a great card. Uh, death. God, another high rank card. Yes, I think I, maybe that's what I just talked about, because death, this death is transformation. So universe put you in here, like I said, to realize that material is not all that important, is not all that matter. 
yes, we depend on this, uh, of course, but in the end of the day, uh, when we leave this world, that's not going to be a matter. So, and maybe this is, uh, death represents personal transformation. Inside something, uh, maybe inside something will die. Maybe you change your thoughts. Maybe it change your views on things. Maybe it change your mm, views on life, on perspective on life, on something that um, you're not going to think uh, as before. Uh, this is a personal growth. This is a card of personal transformation. Let's see. One more card is... Eight of Cups. Mm, Eight of Cups, it's emotional disappointment I would say it's like we are have everything uh, look we have full kingdom here but yet we are not satisfied yet we're still looking for something else for something better for something bigger it's like never enough uh, let's I will want to take one more card from here for you guys so you emotionally on a journey I I feel like the your personal transformation together with your emotions they don't catch up they don't go on the same pace because you're still looking for something yes hermit another high rank that's what I just said. Um, yes, you are looking for answers. You are looking for meaning of life. You are looking uh, looking for your soul. What's important for your soul. You are looking for, for answers. Or you are looking for a teacher. You are looking for a guru. For a guide who would enlighten you in this um, journey path. Um here is like you going you isolating yourself and you're going to the deep journey to your own soul to take time and uh, really listen deeply. Mm, you might have questions like uh, why I'm here, what are my mission online in this life, what I'm here for. Uh, what's really important so yeah this um, uh, this like I just said these three cards um, even for all of them that's I think that was a rep yes you were had you had everything so far everything was great uh, but something was missing in your soul and universe, universe put you into um, reflect on that and um, guide you in the right direction, give you a lesson. Well, let's ask the angels for the advice. Because so far you had money, you had power, you had everything creative project your soul longs to express itself in creative ways we are guiding you to infuse artistry and creativity into your life creative expression makes you feel alive and excited and reunites passion towards your life maybe that was what was missing to find the passion again in your life when you have everything. Great advice. Let's ask the nature's tarot and oracle. 
one cut from here is ideal course of of action that's a great advice uh, whatever happens in your life um, you're on the right track you're on the right path this is everything how it should be okay capricorns i hope you enjoy your reading i wish you all the best um i wish you all the best uh, of the scenarios please like subscribe leave any comments and i see you next time bye